So far in this module, we're, we've worked through most of the pieces that I think are essential for understanding how to use Scratch for storytelling. Uh, I mean, if you come back and think about what we've done, we've looked at integrating multiple sprites, we've looked at changing the background, we've looked at adding in sounds, we've looked at coordinating sprites using a combination of timing and broadcast, so that when everything comes together, we get a nice little story. And now is typically the point in my physical classroom where we want to start thinking about having the students create a story of their own. Um, and I actually think there's a choice we have to make right now as teachers, and that is, what do we actually have them do next? And I think there's two distinct possibilities. One is that you turn them loose with a blank canvas, right? You have them come in and create a brand new canvas, and you have them start completely from scratch, no pun intended, and have them start to create a, a, a new story from the ground up. But I think that can actually be overwhelming to students at this first stage and things. And so what I've discovered through a lot of experience over time is that what's better to do, or what I like doing better with my students, is giving them an existing story, having them learn how to look at that story and figure out how the story actually works, and then have them go in and modify that story. And that's actually what I want you to have a chance to experience here in these next two tasks. And so we're going to split up the reading of the code and the story and the modifying of the story into two different tasks. In this task, all I'm going to ask you to do is to get access to an existing story and figure out how it works. And so what I'd like you to do is to go to the class uh, web page for this particular unit, and obviously you're there already because you're watching this video. And what I want you to do is get access to this Harry Potter story. And we're going to do that through a feature in Scratch called Remixing. So here on the top of my page, there's a link to this Harry Potter story. And if I click on it, uh, I come over to this program called Potter Starter. And it blinks a couple of times because it's actually sending me inside of Potter Starter. And here is an already existing story. Uh, I'm going to hit the green flag, and you actually can't tell. The, the, it has started. There's a title screen, Harry Potter and the Yuletide Ball. And then we get this sort of cartoonish uh, discussion between Harry Potter and Luna Lovegood about uh, what they did on their spring break or, or their Christmas break and whether they'll go to the ball together. And right now, if I can look at this. I'm, I'm looking at scene one. This is yellow. This is where we're at in the script. And then when scene one ends, uh, eventually there's a, a trigger that sends us over to scene two. So now this is glowing yellow. And so I can see this is where this, this play or this story is. And that's the, ver the very basics of this. Well, what I want you to do is click on that link in your, on the, the class web page, and it will bring it up in your uh, version of Scratch. And then what I'd like you to do is make a copy of this that later you're going to be able to change. And so, you notice right here at the top, there's a button that says Remix. Anytime anybody has publicly shared a program, in Scratch, you are able to grab a copy of that and then start playing with that program to see how it works and to make it your own. So I'm going to click on Remix, and now I'm actually working on my own copy. It actually says Potter Starter Remix up here. And I can go in now and take some time to hit the green flag, play this, see how this story comes out between Harry Potter and Luna Lovegood. So I'd like you to do that now. Take maybe 10 or 15 minutes, grab a remixed copy of this program, look at how it's going to work, and then in the next module, what we're actually going to do is look at modifying this story to add more to it.